All right. At least a reasonable representation. Like it showed a mason and say, what is that? <laughs> All right. Um, so we've already done the model. We've all done this part. And so <clears throat> along with all the dimensions and properties of the part here that we have, if we go to the file properties, we've got other properties also. We've got some general things here. We have custom properties such as part number, description, material, um, cost, lead time. Uh, so other information you can put into this. So if you're using the full um, SolidWorks package, um, and then all the <coughs> to build materials and, and things into the SolidWorks uh, manage the, the PDM part of it. <coughs> and, and it also goes back into your title block. So if you did description, and we told it to be Y'all know this is the hardest part of the drawing, right? Naming it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Students don't believe me when I tell them that. The hard, sometimes the hardest thing to do is to figure out a name for the stuff. And they don't, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. You make something with 50 parts in it, try and figure out a different name for each one of those parts. Everybody else knows. Yeah. Everybody, yeah, everybody else is good. Everybody so I'm knows. just going to put that one in for now. So now we want to make a drawing of this. So I'm just going to go to File. Make drawing from part. So it's going to come up and ask me my sheet size. Do I want A, B, whatever, do I want landscape or portrait? I want to pick landscape A. OK. And it brings it in. Now we're just going to hit escape to get out of that. So over here on my sheet, if I right click on that, I go to properties. I've got a lot of stuff, things here. Mine, for some reason, my settings aren't right, and it's wanting to do first angle. So I'm going to switch that over to third angle. <clears throat> I'm going to pick my scale. I don't know, I want this to be half scale. So I'll make it one to two. And then these are for when you're doing uh, sections and, and datums. Those are the numbers it's going to, the letters it's going to start out with. Um, so I'll say OK. Now I'll go back to View Layout. Standard 3 View. Double click on that part. And puts it in. And that's not my. It did first angle still. Why did it do first angle? Third angle. But I really don't want that one. I want top front, right? So I'll take that view and get out. Move this one down. It stays lined up. And then I'll just do a projected view. Click here, pick up. Or here, right click over. Okay. You can see here. I probably don't want hidden lines on that. Probably want it to be shaded. So I'll just come over here and click shaded. Either with edges or without edges. Again, I like to have edges on it just so you can kind of see a look there. Now these ones here. I can move them, they're going to stay lined up. If I make a change to the, this one, the base one, it'll change everything else. If I tell it, I don't want any headlines. Or I want headlines. And all the other ones are going to change also. Um, so that's kind of the basics of it. Um, so I'm going to un. So you can put this in, create those views. Um, some other ones that, you, that are kind of nice. Is I can do that. I can do a model view. And I 
I can select the current model view right here on the list. If I pick current model view, it's going to go to whatever my view currently is. Zoom, but it takes me to that same view. So if I had it like here, I put that in model view, current model view. See, it puts in that that specific view. So now maybe I want that a little bit smaller. I can just go over here. And right now it's using a scale one to one. So I can either tell it to use the sheet scale, which would be one to two like everything else is. Or I could pick a special one. Maybe I'll have that really small. Probably not. So maybe I'll just do that. Make it shaded. So you can get specific views. If, if you need a view to show something, you can set it. And then just do the current view so that way you can get that in. I've had to do that a few times, kind of looking into an assembly or something. You want to show something specific, you can kind of get right to that view and do it on a page. So go ahead and do that. Uh, create a couple views, create a custom view like that.